Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Late last night at about 10.58 Pacific Standard Time PM, there was a magnitude 4.5 earthquake, uh, part of the Juan de Fuca um, Explorer Plate. Two people said they felt this earthquake. Did you feel it? According to the Moment Tensor Ball, yeah, we got spreading. This small microplate is heavily deformed with a lot of um, broken blocks, faults, and has produced a lot of earthquakes with a magnitude 5 or greater. Uh, I believe the largest might have been in, in uh, 1929, a magnitude 7.0. There's been quite a few um, sixes. 1992 there was a magnitude 6.7 up here towards the north we got the queen charlotte fault system that is over 400 miles long fault system uh, makes you wonder because of the spreading if it's going to put any pressure upon that fault system the queen charlotte fault system runs all the way up to alaska let me bring this out you can see the motion of that and it goes all the way up here close to um let's see glacier bay national park preserve and what else do we have yeah that's all i can see in that location it looks like the felt reports probably came from um port mcneil they gave it an intensity level of one, so I'm really surprised they even reportedly said they felt it. Off the coast of um, Vancouver Island um, is heavy deposits of sediment, probably about over 2,000 feet of sediment in this area, mostly from the flows of the waters coming off the land basin. There is several plates within this area, three different plates, which is causing a lot of these earthquakes we got the explorer ridge which is a spreading zone and then down over here is the sovanko fracture zone um, there's actually originally like three different plates that kind of welded together as um, the um, Juan de Fuca plate moved around and we got subduction underneath the North American plate so because of this, this is why I'm wondering if it's going to put pressure all along um, the Queen Charlotte Fault Zone. I don't know. But because of all the sediment that is here, it's probably why over here on Vancouver Island they reportedly felt the earthquakes. There was probably more people that did feel it. So I'd like to know if you felt it or not. What did the motion feel like? How long did it last? Was it just a very slight vibration and how long did that last you can see we got a 5.6 that was um this year september 17th let's see i got a 4.9 that was on the 16th of this month we also got a 5.4 let's see the date that was on september 17th of this year yeah, please share your information. I really would like to know about that. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be prepared. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.